Greetings and welcome to the first episode of Alia Jakta Est's Europa Universalis 4 campaign. I have been thinking about how I want to do this, and I think I'm going to have longer episodes, um, but I will split them in two. So I will try to play about an, perhaps 60 minutes, 70 minutes, or even 80 minutes of a country. Unless it's uh, in a very uninteresting spot, perhaps, then I will shorten the episode. Still, that should give us uh, enough time to um, consolidate and uh, to um, stake claims, etc. Anyway, it's been a while since I played U4, so I am not uh, the best player ever. Uh, so feel free to leave comments or suggestions uh, about what I'm doing wrong, what I could do better. Uh, I did play. But that was before um, the recent patches, and I know they've rebalanced a lot of things. So anyway, let's see what we can do. Let's pick a random nation. Ming. Well, uh, why not? Let's see what we can do as Ming. So, we have 40 ships, and we have quite a few armies here. Hmm. So let's see. How do our force limits look? Um, let's see... There's the military. The force limits are 27 of 36 and 40 ships out of 64. We have two diplomats and one missionary. Do we need a missionary? Uh, don't know. Is that ours? Yes, it is. But we can't because of... Alright, alright. Uh, you can convert provinces to your religion. Let's convert that one. We earn a fuck ton of money. Send it. Let's hire some advisors. National tax modifier. Is this all tax? Yes, it's almost all tax, so this guy will pay for himself. Almost. Of course, he's expensive, but hey. Um, we could grab a sheep dude, and another sheep dude, dude, yeah, the discipline guy, should leave, yeah, five ducat ducats a month, so we have Celestial Empire, and National Revolt Risk, minus 3%, our primary culture is Han, and then Cantonese is accepted, our emperor sucks ass, um, unfortunately, oh, rivals, uh, diplomatic power. Right, so we have 39 of all, all powers. Um, click in the list or on the map to choose a new rival. I think we want to go northward, so let's go for the Mongol Khanate. Uh, Manchu and Korea. That's what we want to go for. I could go south, but I, I don't know. Let's spice it up a bit. A mission. Insult the Mongol Khanate. <laughs> Claim our rival's province orders. That's a nice one. Um, Ordos is... That one, alright. Let's go for that. And form the Chinese nation, we need to have the technology group Western. Well, that's not going to happen. Well, let's see. Mongol Khanate, diplomacy. Um, so I need to do a covert action, I think. Fabricate claim on Ordos. Okay. I don't really know how this ex aggressive expansion thing works. Um, uh, after the patch, it used to be, well, uh, just a number, really. I think it's become worse now. It's I need to watch out so I don't get too much aggressive expansion. I know that. No available mercenaries. There's a dispute to succession. Well, of course there is. It's the beginning of the game, and we can hire a free military leader. Um, free military leader? That's just no upkeep, right? No monthly upkeep. Alright, so we still need military power to do it. So, 
let's see the. I want to see the mm, supply limit. These provinces. I am so used to the European Solid City 3 icons, I don't recognize the 4 ones. Missionary buildings, supply limit. Right, so that's the one. Um, oh, we have loads of supply limit. Let's, let's move our soldiers over here. And we also should build some more troops. I think there's an easy way to do that. Oh, right. The factions, I almost forgot about those. Can we even declare war with this faction? Uh, perhaps we can. Um, so, trade exploration and colonization. War to acquire more Buddhists. <laughs> um, support building new structures and earning money. That's the one we have, right? Can I see what they do, anyway? Leading faction... Build cost, minus 100%. Minus 100%?! So it's free. Oh right, it's free um, from costing money. It still costs power. More tax, more stability. Uh, one additional advisor. I didn't see that I could hire more than one advisor. Or three, I mean. See, I don't know where I... Here. Perhaps I can scroll this? No, I cannot scroll it. Hmm. Right, weird. Still, we should uh, recruit some soldiers. We do that here, right? No, perhaps not. Uh, there, production. Asian long spear. What do they cost? Ten, ten, ten. Yeah, alright. We can have... let's make sure... Oh, wait, I could perhaps see it there, right? Yeah, there it is. So I can hire nine more troops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I want to lower my... Let's see, where's the maintenance? It should be under economy, right? There's economy. Army maintenance, missionaries maintenance, uh, fleet maintenance. I don't need any fleet maintenance. Right, so let's uh, gather the troops and prepare. And I have one more diplomat. Perhaps I should uh, do a fabrication, a fa fabricate a claim here as well. Perhaps. Mm. Hikesy. Yeah. And there we go. Start time. Trading in tea happened to us. How is our money looking? We're still earning, and we're earning more than we did when we last looked. And there they all. Now they're all finished. Let's uh, meet up here. Because that's one troop too much. Move one over here. We have earned some power. Let's uh, hire a free military general. Move another Manchu declared on the Mongol. Perhaps we should as well. When we get our fabrication uh, diplomat back, so he is. Let's see. Fabricate claim. He's been doing it for... for what? He has been doing it for 197 days? Did I really... okay. Perhaps he did. Perhaps I let uh, time go that fast. Um, get, let's get the leader. He was a shock leader. Awesome. Alright, so this is great. Should we get an alliance? Perhaps with Tibet? Um, right now, there's really no one who likes us. Perhaps Korea would have, but we set them as a rival. Well, no one can rival our power anyway, so... I 
I hear some weird sounds. I wonder if you hear them as well. When I zoom in and out, it sounds like um, the ambient sound is messing up. Um, I'll take a look after the video, see if it's there for you as well, and in that case fix it. For now... Um, stability! Oh, Wealth of nations! It's the first great work in political economy. Huh. Alright, so we... <laughs> we, um... Got the author of the Wealth of Nations! We have no merchants. He's transferring trade power in Hangzhou. Weird. Promote Neo-Confucianism, tolerance of heretics, or missionary strength and legitimacy. We need legitimacy. We don't... We don't... Let's um, hold off on promoting anything. Ah. Let's see, can we declare war for Ordos? Yeah, le let's, uh, let's do it. Let's take it low maintenance. No, that's, um, that's for um, the boats, right? Economy. Yeah, it's full um, army maintenance. Excellent. Um, I guess we can send another. Oh, we cannot. Oh, that's too bad. Let's improve relations with uh, Sean then. Influence. Uh... No, that's not right. Uh, what should it be then? Improve relation. There we go. And another one. Perhaps we can fabricate another claim here. Perhaps not. Uh, all right. Let's um, improve relations with Dai Viet. No, not economy. It's relation. Relation. Oh, so this is their capital. Um, let's uh, split them in half instead. Let's go take them out that way. Split these in half right here. Still take some losses, but it's fine. Am I losing? Against two troops. No, I won. They are broken. Alright, so Manchu is now sieging that. Guess we can have these in reserve here. It's unnecessary to lose more than necessary. Let's split them off. Have them wait. They still take attrition though. Oh, what is this? Uh, lose prestige or a two year revolt risk? Let's go for the revolt risk. It's fine, I have troops on the ready. And there we go. So, the thing about aggressive expansion is that I cannot see where it is. And perhaps I can see it uh, in the relations tab here. I think it's, it's visible. Sue for peace. I have no diplomats to send. Alright, let's uh, recall him. He's coming back. There he is. There he is. Um, conquest causes belly. Yes. Thank you. Oh, no mission. So we can insult the Mongol Khanate. Let's do that. Um, send an insult. Meanwhile, let, let's bunch these up. And now we can take a look. Do we see 
Aggressive expansion. Yeah, the, there we see it. Aggressive expansion minus 28. And it's uh, being... Um, is it increasing? No, that's a green text. Uh, the plus 2.2 .2 per year, so that must be mean it's uh, decreasing. Which makes sense. That was some free military power. Spread our culture to Lao Tse. And the enemy of our enemy is... Uh, the enemy of our enemy is Hosokawa. So they should be our friend. Ceiling goal. Oh, that's their province. So let's go for um, spread our culture. Oh, perhaps not. Let's do the enemy of our enemy. We go for Hosokawa. Where's Hosokawa? That's you. And I need to get my diplomat back. Prove relation. You are suffering attrition there. Go here. Supply limit 15, 17, 21. So we've gained one province. That's fine. Let's uh, replenish our manpower. The maximum is 51,000, so that's quite a lot. Uh, we have a claim here. We should wait a while. Though, I, I feel... Um, let's take it easy. I've not played this for a while and I don't want to rush into any huge mistakes. Hmm, diplomacy... Yeah, we can't holy war. That's unfortunate. I also understand, by the way, that in European Vassals you're supposed to have the Fog of War, but we will really only have the Fog of War when we're playing, and we will see the map in between. Um, hopefully, it will not um, be a hindrance to you as viewers, because it isn't for me. I, I just pretend that I don't know what's on the other side of the ocean, and that works fine. So, we have improved relations with Chan. They are now... Yeah, they are... Um, they have positive relations with us. Not enough, though, to... Um, hmm. Not enough to vassalize, but we, we could send a royal marriage. That would be awesome. Royal marriage. Our legitimacy will change by minus five, but that's fine, because we're gaining legitimacy. And uh, we gain increased chance of a new heir. Yeah, our air sucks, by the way. We should send him out to war. Um, we should send ourselves out to war as well. Um, let's see, military. Make a general out of our ruler and our air. So let's pick... Holy shit. We really, really suck. Damn. Each diplomatic relation over your limit will cost you one... What does this... What? What? What does this mean? Too many diplomatic relations. One each month. One, of, uh, one out of zero diplomatic relations. Weird. Well, let, let's uh, let it be for now. Now we can also take uh, this, so we gain more legitimacy, because we denounce the Neo-Confucianism. Hmm. Offer an alliance? Sure. Does that mean we have too many diplomatic... No, it does not. So, where is the offer vassalization? Military Alliance. Uh, okay, so 190 plus. You can ask for uh, military access.
And that should be fine, really. So let's see, do we have any free... No, we do not. They are improving relations in Hosokawa. Yu Yang Shang has arrived home from Shan. Hmm, so uh, the improved relations are going down. And they're minus 40 because of neighboring heretic religion. Border friction minus 8 and aggressive expansion minus 4. So that, that is going down at least. Um, so let's see. Hmm. Uh, that wouldn't do much. Fabricate claim, nah. So, let's see if we can fabricate another claim here. No, we cannot because... We, we should be able to fabricate a claim on their... Um, capital, but apparently we can't. So let's uh, fabricate another claim here instead. Seal in goal. And let's see how far along we are in improving relations with Hosokawa. Um, 125. I wonder if that's even possible. Let's hope it is. I still wonder what this is. don't understand that one. Too many diplomatic relations. There must be a limit somewhere, but I don't know where. Let's accept the demands, even though I don't like it. Hmm, yeah, setting an excellent uh, example. Retainer flawed. Buildings. We cannot build buildings, apparently, because... Oh, let's look at our tech. So, level 2. We cannot westernize. Are we overextended? That can't surely not be right. Need to make this a core though. Um, core constructions, let's see. Hmm, I thought that core constructions appeared somewhere. Apparently not. Perhaps uh, somewhere here, stability. Something called stability. Stability and expansion. Overextension. Manage. Yeah, here it is. And when you manage overextension. Right. And let's uh, bump up our stability to two, because we have nothing else to waste our diplomatic power on. Is it diplomatic? No, administ administrative power. Um, ideas. Unlocked at National Ideas 4. We are at level 2. Right, so let's save up stuff for um, technologies. Just to save up and not do much. Um, right. Military coalition against us. Wait, they don't even exist. So, where can I see coalitions against me? Or can I even see that? Right, so one of my rivals are gone. We need a new rival. Go for hmm. Manchu, Korea, um, Tibet. There we go. The Chinese technology group. Here we should see uh, target of the coalition of Oirat Horde. Okay, so they are the only ones in the coalition. Lansang. Declare war. Show superiority. Claim revocation, monetary reparations, concession of defeat. Nah, I think we'll skip on that. My Emperor, we have been informed that diplomats of Ming stopped trying to improve relations with Hosokawa. Right, um, so did we even manage to... No, we didn't. Perhaps we should get rid of um, the mission, because it's too hard to do. Um, we won't be able to choose a new mission for five. I think it's fine. Let's get rid of it. 
Spider Man crosses belly. I, I don't give crap about that. By the way, our force limits. Are they at maximum? No, we can build one more unit. Let's build one Asian long spear. So we arrived home. Um, we're fabricating claims. We were fabricating claims here. So, um. Let's keep on fabricating claims. We have a claim here. Let's uh, go for Jurim. And then we could. Hmm. Uh, Oil Ward, perhaps. Um, let's improve relations. Because they started a coalition against us. So let's uh, try to win them over instead. Wow. Uh, base tax or manpower. I think we need even more money. Uh, a local literati, I think. Let's go for that. I only remember these from European Rosales 3, but they seem to have uh, been changed. Because, um, I think on it was only the Temple faction that allowed it to de declare wars. But now they instead give manpower, recovery speed, and lands. They all give positive stuff, and none give uh, negative stuff. But this doesn't work, because possible advisors plus one is a lie. I can only have three. Plus six, plus three, and plus four. I'm not impressed. One of our missionaries are nearing completion. core is being constructed, slowly but surely. We arrived home from Manchu. Let's uh, fabricate another claim then. On uh, Ulankab. When does this escape from our... Uh... Right, so in 20 years. There we converted. 62, yes. Uh, prestige or spy offense? Uh, refuse. Spy offense? I don't. I don't think you have spies unless you go for um, espionage ideas. So that's a leftover event from European Universalis, European Universalis three. That's not uh, very uh, well. One of the options aren't exactly useful if you don't have that. Uh, so what is this? Bad Feng Shui. Feng Shui is a system of both aesthetic and magic. Wow. Lose legitimacy, prestige. A fuckload of money. And I think the money is what we need the least. And we want uh, tax. Yes. Because we live on tax. Oh, and by the way, we could always lower our um, army maintenance to about half. Earn some more money. We need a while to get back into all these uh, Europa Universalis antics. Hmm. So we need a fuck ton of points to even get one advancement. Damn Chinese technology. And it's 160% cost. Ooh. Claim on Amdo. This. I think I'll wait though. Is Manchu. They are not allied to anyone. But the Oirat Horde have a coalition against us. Let's see. Can I see their armies somewhere? I should be able to see their armies. The Oirat Horde have, let's see, uh, 18,000 good men, and Manchu have 19,000. We have, well, around 40, so uh, not keen on going to war, to be honest. Not incredibly keen. 
Manchu declared war on Oirat Horde. That's excellent. That opens up opportunities for us. Ooh, the f no, I don't want to lose stability. Come on. Yeah, let's go for discipline. Well, we can live with one stability, that's fine. For now. How much less do we earn? Ah, two ducats. Let's um, prepare the armies by increasing the army maintenance. Does Manchu have boats? They probably have boats. I don't really care. I'll just go for their lands. So we have one that's not doing anything. That's excellent. So let's uh, declare war for... Which one of these are best? Haixi, Ulankab, or Jurim? Haixi is worth eight. Well, it's <laughs> definitely this one. Diplomacy, declare war for Haixi. All willing allies? No. Yeah, let's take it. Haixi, let's go here. Stand there, you can stand there and be reinforcements. And he came home, let's use it to. Uh, hmm, perhaps we should um, form. Uh, no, not form a coalition against, that would be weird. We could fabricate a claim. We have a claim on Amdo, so let's see if we can get a claim on Kam. Or calm, perhaps, to sound less offensive. Let us try to negotiate, I think. Um, it's just until June. And it's 30 ducats. It's nothing. Now let's see that. There they are. Yeah, let's be prepared. Wow! What happened there? Did we get instantly destroyed or something? Let's meet up in Hikesy. Now we're winning. So why did we get instantly destroyed before? I don't even know. Let's see. We want no leader. Uh, over here. Yes, and then him and go and take them out. You can split up here. What is this? Military access from Oirat Horde. Oh, sure. I won't help destroying them. Say no. Come on, catch them! Now they're almost too strong. I was still win. Even though it's hard. Ah, oh, let me catch them. They must have had one hell of a leader or something. When uh, when they destroyed our army outright. We can split them in half and go and reinforce. And we soon have Hyxi sieged. Uh, use one of our diplomats to improve relations with Diviet. Hmm, cheating at examinations. Dues admi administrative power, prestige, or army and navy tradition. Prestige, I think, the tradition. I can't see anyone uh, rivaling a military anyway. Even though I'm obviously bad at assessing assessing uh, how strong my enemies are, seeing as I got murdered. Um, the Beijing Levy. So this gives manpower and army tradition. This gives base tax and ducats. Let's go for manpower. And even more manpower, apparently. 
Um, by the way, we lost a huge chunk of our army. Let's uh, build some more. Quite a lot of them, I would say. Now we have 14 in the queue. That uh, makes um, 42. We need more. 43, 45, 45. Yeah, let's build some, some random stuff. I really can. We have loads of money. We can fix the, the numbers later. Right now I want to uh, siege this and get it. Get Heitzy. Would they give, up, give it up, by the way? No. We need 25. Lose more stability? No, why? Now we're forty percent. Right, so um want this. So you would go for it. Uh would you give us anything else? Transfer your trade power? No. So money? Well sure. What would you gain? 26 mm. It result in inflation for us. Well, uh, well let's take it. There we go. Keep them uh, here and they can stay there. Let's see. In the stability department, what's happening? Uh, stability walls. There. Manage overextension. Oh, wow. We got a lot of our extension. Make war. Make war. Now we probably need to hunt some rebels. By the way, let's just increase our stability. I guess we will have to uh, suffer through waiting for the administrative power, but I guess that's fine. And now we can lay low with the conquests for a while and uh, enable autonomous rebel suppression. Yes. There we got the new army. We can have six more units. So well, let's go for one, two, three, four, six. They have entered a military coalition against us. That is completely fine. They are going to be some attrition here, so we'll just move them there and then merge and split. What's that? I don't even know. Yeah, rebel suppression and rebel suppression. I am amazed because so far we have not gotten a single rebel. Though we have some possibilities. Hexi, Ninguta and Ordos. Ordos can support 14. So let's um, select them from there. Select them and go to Ordos. And we're earning 4. Let's uh, reduce it a tiny bit. There we go. Perhaps. Like that. Rebel suppression. And it looks like we're expanding nicely. I just need to wait for all of the cores to be finished. So, at the end of the year I will end this episode, and in the next episode we will continue playing as Ming. As Ming with uh, Kia Shu. Or, um, let's see. Ki Shen Shu, perhaps? And... Uh, Kiyu Shu, the Shu dynasty, in any case. Let's uh, wait until January. Here we go. And what? Can they not? Uh, oh. It used to be 14. Now it's 13. Let's send them there. There we go. So I won't forget.
Actually, let me move him over there. Hmm, good news. Uh, repairing the Great Wall gives army tradition. Now we need stability. Alright, so we did not rebuild the Great Wall, but we uh, started to um, grab the northern borders for ourselves. I mean, we don't need the Great Wall if we own the land of the Mongol hordes. Anyway, I'll see you all in the next episode. Thank you for watching this first episode of Aliyakta Est's EU4 campaign. And goodbye.